All right, so I'm sick, so hopefully I don't cough too much, but figured I might as well get back to making videos. I mean, I'm not really doing anything else too productive. So we've got this polynomial here, x minus 2 to the 9th. If you were to expand this out, you get this. And so p and q are um, algebraically the exact same polynomial, but are they the same polynomial to a computer? And we can figure that out by having a computer plot this. So we just do this in MATLAB. We just, so P and Q are going to be um, sort of like matrix vectors. So if you have like, if you have in general, um, let's see here. So let's see, we're using P and Q, let's say R of X is going to be like A N X to the N plus A N minus one X to the N minus one plus all the way down to A zero. Then the way that we would plug this into MATLAB as a vector is that we would have this vector just A N, A N minus one, all the way down to a zero. So this is a vector which just gives the coefficients of the terms of the polynomial. And so that's why we see like P here is, well, P, lowercase p and lowercase q are going to be used to create the, um, the final vectors that we use capital P and capital Q. So capital P, let's see here. All right, so capital P would be you just take this polynomial, so 1 minus 2, and so that's just going to be, because that's x minus 2, the coefficients of that are 1 and negative 2, and so this vector is that polynomial, and then you just raise it to the power of, and so what you do is capital X is going to be your x values that were given here, and so what we do for capital P is we evaluate this polynomial using this expression p that we have here. So what we do is we take each x value, we plug it into lowercase p, and then we take that number and raise it to the power of 9. That's what this dot exponent 9 means. And that's how we get this vector p. So this vector capital P here is actually, um, it's, Let's see here. The entries of capital P are this expression, lowercase p, up here, evaluated at the point in the vector capital X. And it's evaluated using this expression. Whereas capital Q is you take the points in, in capital X and you evaluate them at the polynomial using lowercase q. And the way that we plug this into the... Uh, into MATLAB is I didn't want to write out like the full vector. I could have done that and that would have worked. But instead you can just take this, um, because this is just what happens when you expand the polynomial x minus 2 to the ninth, you can actually make MATLAB do that. And this convolution function here, it multiplies two polynomials together. It multiplies two polynomials in vector form together to give you what the product polynomial would be in vector form. So if you actually print out what this lowercase q is at the end of this for loop, it actually, the first entry is 1, the second entry is minus 18, blah, 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 the last entry is negative 5, 12. So anyways, um, so capital P and capital Q are what you get when you use these two different expressions to evaluate this, poly this polynomial at different x values. And so I just plotted them using some stuff, and this is the result. So look at what happens with p of x. This is really smooth, and it worked out really nicely. Whereas with q of x, it got really wonky in here. Um, so there is obviously some error that was introduced in the calculations. So I guess what this, what this means is that if you're evaluating a polynomial, if you're taking a polynomial and raising it to a power and evaluating the resulting polynomial at different points, 
then it's better to plug in the points into the polynomial first and then take those values and raise them to powers rather than to multiply out the polynomial first. Um, because another thing that you notice about this is that, like, why did they choose these values of x to plot? Well, if you think about what happens, um, x minus 2 is the, it's the, the polynomial is the quantity x minus 2 to the ninth, and so that's going to have a root at x equals 2. And so you've got a root at x equals 2, and it appears that choosing x values near that root is going to cause issues, whereas choosing x values far from that root, things are going to look better. Um, so yeah, in general, the, the basic idea here is that, um, yeah, polynomials can be a little tricky to work with, I guess. Um, there, there's not a lot of detail that we want to go into here in terms of like what exactly that means. But for example, I know that, um, like finding roots of polynomials um, is algorithmically a hard problem. And I think this phenomenon that we're seeing here is sort of related to that. And I guess th the point is also that if you have two formulas that give you um, like two equations that theoretically are equivalent are not necessarily algorithmically or computationally equivalent. Um, so yeah, that's all that we need to do for this problem, and so we are done.